This video demonstrates the corridor with a brow ditch at the top, and we throw in a vertical override to control the longitudinal slope of that brow ditch. In the delivered workspace, there is a ditch cut tight template, and it is uh, there is a in the template documentation link. It is linked to it is linked to a web page with documentation on it. Um, and essentially what we have is a brow ditch um, in big cut. The, <clears throat> the one with test only puts the brow ditch if the terrain is flat or tilted draining towards the road. Okay. If it's draining away, it fails. Okay, so for example, I think 5% is the trigger on there. So anything that is less than, let's see, minus 1, minus 4, I think, by default. Anything that is tilted away less than 4% or draining towards the road will, will fail. Um, what we have here is an extension on that. Okay, so... If it's tilted away, uh, don't need a brow ditch, but if it's tilted towards, it's got a brow ditch. So if I run that, um, that end condition solution where there's a brow ditch if the flow is towards the road, you can see in this case, most of that flow is towards the road. I have a brow ditch pretty much the entire length here. I do have a, uh, I threw a line in here earlier, and I'm going to cut a profile along that because I want to see the longitudinal slope of that ditch. It's off a little bit, but it's close enough for, for the point here. So I'm going to say profile. There we go. There's my profile in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is going to, uh, that's the existing ground. I want to get the proposed grade in there. So I am going to project. Profile to element, and I'll pick the ditch bottom here, and I'm going to project it to that. Okay, so you can see this would be my ditch bottom, and because uh, you can see it's bouncing up and down, okay, not good. We don't want to have a ditch flow line bouncing up and down. So it's very easy to give it um, a designed profile, and I'll do that next. I want my ditch to flow one direction from here to here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to tasks and I'm going to go just line between points. I'll chain this together for speed here. Uh, basically in here I can snap if I want but I can I'm just going to throw in some some lines. Turn off AccuSnap. I want to be a little bit below. And I'm going to make them all one. Just for good documentation, I'll give it a name. I'll call that uh, Designed Brow Flow Line. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to make this active, and you'll see the change. And I'll go back into the template and show you how that worked. But I'm going to. Make that active, and I'm going to reprocess the corridor. There you go. 
So what happens is you have a nice steady uniform longitudinal slope and that may require lowering it. That's why you have a little more gap here. So it's, um, let's look at it in profile. I mean, uh, in cross section, what's going on? So what our end condition does, solution here, All right, so where we have a browit ditch, um, that puts it exactly at the top. Okay, if we have a a feature called, in this case, ditch bottom override, right side, left side, uh, if we draw that in there, see what happens. Okay, so that's what's going on with our end condition here. So by default, it's going to go, it's going to solve. Okay. And we get a ditch, and the ditch goes follows the existing ground, which can go up and down and all that other stuff. So if we do have a profile in there and it's active, okay, it's going to the elevation of the the profile element, and that's where we can define, and that's what's going on here. Okay. And it's very easy to adjust things. So for example, if I want to bring this, drop this down a little further. It's a really nice and fast workflow. I can just go here and I can just pull that down. It'd be rather steep, but in any case, when I update my corridor, You'll see it reprocess and that lowers the ditch. Okay. So again, you can define it however you like, up, down, all that other thing, but that allows you to do a profile to control the brow ditch.